Hello everyone, this is Protesilaos, also known as Prot. In this video, I want to show you how we can leverage some of the more advanced or perhaps less obvious features of uh, BSPWM to perform uh, complicated and uh, more demanding uh, tasks. I have written a script that uh, helps me uh, facilitates the effort of uh, performing these operations and I will be demoing uh, right now what this uh, script does. Um, th this script, the idea of this script is to operate on a multitude of windows at the same time, concurrently. Uh, so I have uh, written this script. Uh, this script accepts certain arguments and depending on the argument it will perform a given uh, action. And uh, I have uh, assigned uh, the various um, facets, the various actions of this script, I have assigned them to specialized uh, hotkeys, which uh, are here. These, uh, this is the um, SXHKD, the simple X hotkey daemon. I have a previous video on the matter where I go into great detail of uh, how we write uh, hotkeys for that and why it is such a powerful tool and I use it um, in tandem with uh, the binary space partitioning window manager. Uh, this video, by the way, is a continuation of my last two videos uh, uh, on the matter of uh, scripting BSPWM and making it do things that are perhaps not provided by uh, what you would get out of the box, what a new user would expect from BSPWM. These are for uh, people that have uh, read through the man pages uh, and uh, spent a lot of time testing things. With uh, these out of the way, let's go straight to the demo and uh, see how these things work in practice. So I will be demoing the first uh, command here, which is summon all marked. What this does, it will, it will bring all marked windows to the present uh, desktop. I have enlarged uh, the viewport here on my screen. I have increased the size of the fonts and the size of the panel, the size of the fonts in the terminal and the size of the panel. So let's see how we can uh, summon marked nodes to the present desktop. Let's go to desktop number two. This is a clean desktop. By the way, I will be describing I will be describing what I am looking at just to make sure that you are following along because I'm not sure how the quality of the video will be outputted and I want to uh, be certain that you are following along. Uh, so let's say this is marked uh, and I assign also the name of the of the present desktop. And the way we mark a window, uh, we pass a hotkey, we press a certain key and it is now marked and this is denoted by the letter M uh, on the panel. Uh, this is the spot where uh, node flags are specified. So this uh, node, this window here is marked, whereas the others are not. Now let's go to desktop number three and let's do the same thing here. So we have some windows here and let's say that this is the marked window of desktop number three. So we have a marked window in desktop number three and the marked window in desktop number two. Just to be sure, this is marked, this is marked. Now let's go to desktop number one and let's instruct uh, the window manager to bring the marked windows to the present desktop. The way we do that is we press the, the key sequence super and N and then the letter M, super and N and then the letter M. And here we are. It's, uh, we are on desktop number one where we were and we have the window that we were working on as well as the marked window from desktop number two and the one from desktop number three. Very nice. The idea behind this is that you are uh, working on a task that spans multiple desktops and uh, you are identifying certain windows that would require your, uh, concentra your undivided attention uh, at a later point. So you will be marking them and then when you need to operate on them, you will switch to a clean desktop, to a new desktop, and then just uh, hit this uh, key and bring them all along, summon them to the present desktop. That's the idea behind uh, this uh, command here that I have uh, developed. Next up, bring desktop here. What this does it, is it uh, brings all the windows of a given desktop to the present desktop. And I will show you how this works in practice. Let's come to desktop number two and let's uh, just add uh, the number two to each of the windows 
and let's remove the, uh, the marked flag we don't need to do that and uh, let's uh, later let's also have this for desktop number three in case we need to do this for uh, later but let's come to desktop number two here all the windows have the number two in them uh, just to make sure that we can identify them and let's go to desktop number one well now this is where we are working and now we want to bring desktop number two to desktop number one the contents the windows in desktop number two should all come here regardless of whether they are uh, marked or not or whatever we don't uh, we are uh, 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 we are just bringing every window here indiscriminately uh, so the way we would do that is that we would press the key sequence super and then and then super and the number of the desktop we want uh, to bring here to us so super and then super and the number two we see here I did th just that you see it brought three windows here and all three of them come from desktop number two let's go to desktop number two we see that it is empty that's very good so let's try again to bring the contents of desktop number one to desktop number two it should bring these from desktop number one to the empty desktop let's see exactly if this is indeed the case here they are all four of them uh, have come here I don't know by the way I don't know if there is a way to also make sure that their uh, layout their specific positioning stays the same I have yet to find a way to do that uh, perhaps uh, there is a way of uh, storing the layout and then uh, reproducing it but that's not what I want what I want is just to move them for, from one desktop to the next that's the important thing I don't really care about the layout though perhaps this is something that could be developed uh, at a future point very well let's go back to desktop number one and of course uh, I have something that uh, mirrors this so send desktop there so for example I want to do the same thing but it, instead of uh, bringing uh, the, the desired window to the focused one I send the focused window to the desired one so let's uh, in, uh, we are now in window in um, desktop number one and all these items are in desktop number one so let's say we want actually we shouldn't be doing that let's keep it as it is we want to send now all the windows of desktop number one to desktop number three let's let's do just that so we press super and then and then super shift and the number three all windows have disappeared from here you will notice this is a different behavior because now the desktop number one is empty and they should be waiting for us in desktop number three let's go to desktop number three and we see here that we have if you remember in desktop number three I marked those windows using the letter the um, number three so these three windows here are the original ones and then the other ones are the one I sent are the ones I sent uh, right now that's great uh, again though I don't know whether uh, it would be easy to record the windows that were in desktop number one and then send only those back to desktop number one without affecting the ones that were in desktop number three again I think I suspect it would be possible but it would um, it would require lots of uh, lots of work and uh, again this is not what I am trying to achieve what I want to achieve here the idea behind this is that you are uh, you are working on some windows and then you want to you want to merge these with some other windows in another uh, desktop and you just send them to the desktop without switching to it that's the idea without switching focus to that desktop you are just sending them there in order to work on them later and uh, basically that's all there is to it let's go to let's switch to desktop number one that's all there is to it there is not much ah and they also have this one uh, which is uh, for killing multiple receptacles uh, in case uh, you haven't watched my previous uh, videos yet though you should this is a receptacle these two actually let's give it to one this is a receptacle the empty frame here is a receptacle and I explain in the previous videos what I am doing with these but a receptacle very basically is uh, is an empty frame that function as a, functions as a placeholder for a, v a window that does not exist yet for a window that has not been defined yet 
So we can send the specific window to the receptacle and then the receptacle will disappear. The window will take its place, like, just like I just did here. But I will not go into that. What I did, what I did with this uh, thing here is that uh, you can create multiple receptacles and rather than deleting them one by one, as I had uh, before, a couple of days ago, you can just press the key that deletes them all at once. That's the idea behind uh, this portion here. Uh, I guess this covers it. Um, I will be uploading the script uh, shortly uh, to my dot files. Basically, by the time this video is up, the script should also be in my dot files. Uh, my dot files are available. Let's see. No, uh, no, this does not work well. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Ah, yeah, here we are. Uh, my dot files are available on uh, gitlab.com forward slash protesilos forward slash dot files and uh, I have uh, I am very excited about uh, what else we can do with BSPWM thus far I have been able to script lots of um, demanding tasks uh, that would otherwise be very difficult to accomplish and I think everything every every step thus far has been a, a, a small uh, productivity boost and of course everything depends on your on your workflow but the general idea is that um, the window manager is uh, scriptable enough uh, to offer us uh, the freedom to act in ways that perhaps the author of this program uh, wouldn't otherwise uh, anticipate wouldn't otherwise want to uh, uh, write specific options for uh, that's all for now, folks. Thank you very much for your attention. Goodbye.